The Farm Bill is a piece of authorizing legislation. It goes through Congress once every few years, and basically it's Congress's way of allowing the USDA, the U.S. Department of Agriculture, to run most of its programs. The Farm Bill started during the Great Depression or in a follow-up to the Great Depression, and the government's objective was to encourage agricultural producers to produce enough of these products to meet the needs of the, of the country. In the United States of America, most of the commodity subsidies go to a small, a relatively small handful of very large farms that are monocropping vast acres of uh, the, the handful of commodity crops like rice, wheat, soy, cotton, uh, and corn. Um, and there aren't that many supports for other types of producers. For example, foods like fruits and vegetables and nuts that you and I eat on a daily basis in Washington, D.C. are called specialty crops, and they do not get coverage under Title I, the commodity program of the Farm Bill. That is, I mean, that's remarkable that we're, you know, the USDA recommends a certain uh, intake of fruit and vegetables daily, right. and, uh, you know, it's regarded as a, as a speciality crop. Right. I mean, it boggles the mind, right. really. Right. Would you say that um, if everyone followed the daily guidelines from the USDA, that there would be enough fruit and vegetables for Americans? The U.S by far is not currently producing enough fruits and vegetables to meet the USDA recommended daily uh, intake of fruits and vegetables. So in order to meet that need, we'd have to vastly expand our fruit and vegetable production in this country. The important thing to understand about the Farm Bill is that we as taxpayers are all paying for the Farm Bill. So you have every right to weigh in with your members of Congress, and at times also with the USDA, to say, look, I support organic food, I support sustainably grown food, and I want you to support programs that help those to survive and to thrive.